For 2,000 years they stood on guard under the earth, poised to defend a mighty leader who dreamed of immortality. And now the hidden army of China's first emperor has emerged from the afterlife and is on the march once more. My love affair with China has been a lifelong journey. And it all began when I was 10 years old and I was looking at my geography book on the left-hand page was a black and white photograph of the Great Wall of China. And I remember saying to myself, I don't think that exists because I know I shall never see it. Well, it does exist and I have seen it. China is overwhelming. And now I want to share with you one of the most amazing stories from ancient China and of an incredible man and his quest for immortality. And it's all on show here at the Art Gallery of New South Wales. The rich and fertile soils of Shanxi province in central China have built up over the millennia, blown from across the country to settle like an ancient blanket in this mountain-rimmed valley. Thirty-seven years ago, a group of farmers were digging a well in their pomegranate orchard. But instead of finding water, they unearthed mysterious shards of pottery. When we started to dig down four meters, we discovered first the head of the warrior, and we didn't know what it was. When I saw the first one, I thought we had dug up something related to an ancestor. And as days passed by, we discovered more and more things and pieces. We reported to the government of Lin Tong County, who confirmed that these belong to Qin Shi Huang. So we put these in a wagon and transported them to Lin Tong Museum immediately. They were so happy. Within months, the evidence was mounting. This was not just a small discovery, but something on a more epic scale. Soon farmlands gave way to sites of scientific excavations, an army of archaeologists delicately combing the site, each intriguing find followed by something even more wondrous. What they discovered would turn out to become the most dramatic archaeological find of the century, on a scale and magnitude eclipsing even that of Tutankhamun's tomb. They had discovered the Baal city of China's first emperor, Qin Shi Huang. The ancient city of Xi'an was once part of the Silk Road and was the capital of China for over 1,000 years. On my most recent visit, I was privileged to meet up with Professor Yuan Zhongyi. He has dedicated most of his professional life to investigating the first emperor's tomb. Nothing this huge has ever been discovered in China. Nothing as huge has ever been discovered in the world. So we were all so excited. Every night we drink and we celebrate our discovery. Realizing the importance of the site, the Chinese government began construction on a 16,000 square meter earthquake-proof hall to cover pit number one. The construction had to be as painstaking as the excavation. Not a single bolt could fall on the newfound treasures. The Terracotta Warriors and Horses Museum was finally opened to the public in 1979, allowing archaeology and the exhibition of the figures to continue side by side. The Chinese government sees this site as one of the country's greatest national treasures. It brings visitors from all corners of the world. Almost by chance, I had a very early encounter with this amazing discovery. I happened to be in Xi'an just a few months after that very first find in March 1974. This is just about where I stood 36 years ago. I was standing in a field with a few pomegranate trees and a few bushes and a few holes in the ground. And I looked down into